Let's do it. This is like a beauty, this one. Okay. This message came to me because we learned this in Bible Club. I think we had a challenge uh, was in Bible Club when we were younger that we had to learn all of First John chapter 1. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Remember? Fair enough. Uh, we had to learn First John chapter 1. We learned the nine verses and then the first two verses of chapter 2. And First John chapter 1, verse 9. Um, and it goes by, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And if we say that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar and His word is not in us. Two very, in a sense, different verses. But the first one. So verse 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. When you, as a Christian... Sometimes we will go, whether we stray away from God or even be more close to God, but we have done something that mm. is a sin. We've done something that where we have neglected God in the sense where God is trying to steer us away from something and we've gone back and, and done that exact same thing. Whether it be lying, stealing, we can go through, but we all know what kind of go like on that gist. And then when it comes to it, we start to say to ourselves, oh, God won't forgive us if we did this. Mm. God's not going to forgive us because... We are so ashamed going to God to even tell him, even though he knows what we've done, that the act of telling him what we're doing, we're too ashamed. And we sometimes we start to like, we, we question God. Because what we do is we question God and say, God, okay, now I've done this, but I don't think you'll forgive me because this is very bad. Like in my eyes, this is diabolical. Yep. This is shockers. But the verse he says, he's faithful and just. To forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I kind of like to look at this verse as well as when you when you speak to someone that isn't a Christian and that wants to know about God and you're kind of going through and he's like, no, 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 I can't, I can't come to God because oh, I've look done at, too much wrong. I've done too much wrong. I, I've, there's, there's so much I've done that you don't even know that God, there's no way God will forgive me. That in that verse, it makes it very clear that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But even the first part, if we confess our sins, the part about that, it's very interesting because when we sin, say we have a certain sin in our life that we work on God, I want to eliminate this sin from my life. And we, and in that time, we're going to fall. We're going to, it might be an addiction to something that we'll fall into and keep doing until we really come out of it through prayer, fasting, reading. If we're genuine about it, I think that's the most important part. Because what we have to understand, we must be genuine when we come to God about our sins. 100%. Must be genuine. We must be wanting to say, God, I'm coming to you. Not like do the same thing every day. Oh, God, forgive my sin and go back to the exact same thing. But it's about, I've done this again. True repentance. I'm genuinely sorry. I need your help. This isn't going to be an overnight fix for me. I really, really need your help. And I need you more than ever with this particular sin. All we need to do is confess it. But it's that peace. He will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And I think that's the big one there. And I will focus on just verse 9 for today. And I that's think I think that's the, the important part is that it's a promise, right? Mm. So if we confess our sins, that's what we need to do. Mm. If we're willing to do that, if we're willing to do that very difficult thing at times, very hard thing at times, but if we're willing to do it, he's going to do something for us. He's going to be faithful. And he's going to be just. And he's going to forgive us for our sins. He's going to forgive us for what we've done wrong. That thing that you think, oh, God can't forgive me for that. No, no, he'll do it. He promises he's going to do it. And he'll cleanse us from that sin. So not only will he forgive us for that sin, but he'll make it as if we never committed that sin in the first place. He does that through the blood of Christ. That's what's powerful about that. Is He's telling us to do this one little thing. Get on our knees and confess. And then he will forgive us and cleanse us. He's going to do a two-part thing. That's massive. I think, that, and then, I think, and we sometimes we like to. And that's what I talk about now, underestimating, because mm. we really underestimate the power of God. Yeah, sometimes yeah. we say, "Oh yeah, like you know, God forgive us," and He'll wipe it from the memory. But then we're like, "Oh, like, but I've still done it." But that's because we create such a paranoia amongst our, ourselves that we're like, "Oh," but it's it, but even love the fact that when we even do that sin and and, and we've done it and we've confessed to God. We try to guilt trip ourselves. Yeah. yeah and, but the, the rewarding thing can be from that is, okay, I have now know what the guilt is. I've learned. doing it. it. Yeah, 100%. I don't want this guilt anymore. Guilt, guilt's not a bad thing, mm. 
But if you're allowing yourself to be overcome by guilt, mm. that's where your problem is. Mm. So we really need to just give it to God. Mm. So good challenge this week, ladies and gents, whatever you're struggling with, whatever that sin is that you think you can't go to God with, go to God with it, mm. talk to him about it, and let him forgive you and cleanse you. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Stato.